Hello everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel or welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Call Me Chris and you can call me Chris. And today we are gonna try all things fall and spicy because I just want an excuse to eat stuff basically. And honestly, I actually have never tried anything pumpkin spice, which is a crime, I think. But that is why I have, what's the word? What's the word? Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? To bring someone else on? A guest? I have. A special guest? I have, I have a acquired, I have. I have invited a pumpkin spice queen who knows exactly what pumpkin spice is supposed to taste like and what to space it. What the f my, it's my sister. Come in, yay. Jessica, you can call her Jessica, yes. So we're gonna have other special guests today, so stick around. We're gonna be doing Starbucks, Tim Hortons, McDonald's, other array of foods. Yeah, let's just have fun with it. Let's, let's get to it. Let, say it with me. Oh, let's, let's get, get to it. it. Jessica is gonna try Starbucks with me. Are you in the pumpkin spice or fall beverage realm? Okay, I'm not that great. Okay, that basic. was all from Jessica. Yeah. Hey, exactly. I'm just basic bees. But yeah. Pumpkin spice latte. You've had a pumpkin spice latte. Though? Yeah. I've never. And had I have like the latte. Starbucks pumpkin spice creamer downstairs. Oh. My little weekend coffees. Damn. I always uh, compliment my audience, so I think today you can compliment the audience. What do you think? How do you think they look today? So pretty, so beautiful. Be a little bit more specific. Um, I'm liking everyone's eyelashes today. Ooh. They're all pretty and yes. long and like spider legs yeah very on brand right now yeah <laughs> and blowing in the wind it's really nice it's not bad all right yeah. i think we should try the beverages first um, yeah because i haven't had coffee yet and i'm getting in the whipped cream is yes. all right so uh oh, nice. yeah let's try the hot beverages first uh first off we got oh one. pumpkin spice latte see she does the psl i would have guessed that was like piss sauce lickety split i don't know <laughs> oh my gosh it's so orange mm -hmm. well usually there's whipped cream on top oh i don't like it Ew, it looks like cumin. Well, you're not supposed to look at it. Look at it. Look at that. The whipped cream must have melted. That doesn't smell bad. It's very good. Okay. I don't that's get the a, hype. That's a pumpkin spice latte. It's not bad. It's, it's cozy. It's just not. It's it tastes cozy. like liquid pumpkin with sugar. Yeah, maybe. I'm giving that like a six out of 10. Do I have to rate it? Yeah, we're rating it now. In the fall, 10 out of 10. Ooh. Any other time out of the fall, I just don't okay. want it. It's a very, yeah. just. It's like having like a peppermint thing only. in the summer. It feels wrong. Mm -hmm. All right, next we have pumpkin spice cream. This one has cream in it. Ew, this one's even. It's that's like even. yellower. Uh, it's probably just really looks nice. I also got straws, so we didn't have to share each other's. Well, <laughs> ew, no, I'm not doing that. Oh, Kevin Shadow. That one's a little better. It's a little creamier. Whoa, that tastes like a pumpkin pie. Yeah, that that's why I like it, because it tastes more pumpkin pie-y. This one, this one I f with. Did you see that aftertaste though? That was a little- Did I see it? No, because we got, got high I'm IQs not... on this show. <laughs> I do have a high IQ. It's just some nervous Did you camera. see that aftertaste? I give that, that like a, a blow small, out. I give it a seven and a half out of 10. Give it a seven. It's not bad. Six. All right, we got the caramel apple spice. Oh yeah, I've never tried these. Never tried this. I'm more excited about this. I'm more of an apple bitch. Oh, it smells like apple pie. And I love me taste of apple pie. Oh, Don't tell me, because I don't want it. Compromise my. My tongue wasn't wow. ready. Wow, do you like a good apple crisp? It's interesting. It's really, very tart. Very. It's like it a, it's like, like a Granny Applesmith apple crisp. Like without the crisp. It's a lot. I would take like a shot of this and I'd be ready to go. Wow! I would give this a, a five out of 10. I, I wouldn't actually Oh, I think it's this. very tasty. I think an eight. We have the apple oat macchiato. I don't know, it says I, apple oat mac. I have high hopes for, so I really hope it's good. Ooh, it looks good. Ooh, Ooh it smells gosh. good. That's nice. It's not too much. I also like oat milk. That's nice. That's refreshing. You don't like it? No. Interesting. Do you not like oat milk? Mm -hmm. If you like oat milk, this is your mm -hmm. shit. 10 out of 10 for oat milk and apple lovers. Right. Not oat milk lovers, it's five. All right, we're done with the hot drinks. Mm. Onto the cold drinks. This is a iced pumpkin spice latte. <laughs> this is the face like that I permanently strong. make when I try pumpkin spice anything. See, her face did it too. She was like this. It's just a put. I feel like pumpkin like needs to be. It tastes like a five-year-old put random ingredients into a drink, maybe some dish soap, and just said, "Here we put go." Put some whipped cream on. Whip what the? the f <laughs> whipped cream on top of it. See, this is the buffering is runs in the family. Word vomit. We can't actually speak. No. And she's a teacher. This is who's teaching our our young ones. <laughs> I feel like pumpkin needs to be warm. I'll give it a two out of 10 for substance. This is the pumpkin cream cold burr. Okay. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. They go. Oh, oh. Yeah. Oh, f yeah. I f that. 
Oh yeah, that's like 10 out of 10. If I've ever had one. Pumpkin spice cold brew. Yeah. You know what you're doing. Sorry. So the ice pumpkin spice latte. A plus. No. The pumpkin cream cold. A cold brew. Yeah. We're gonna give this in. A plus. A plus 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 plus. What okay. Is this? Uh, this is looks like a creamsicle. Pumpkin spice cream frappe. Which I don't know how this is a frappuccino because it's it's water now, but that's fine. So I go from the top and I start sucking and then I go deep. Anyway. So. It's not very flavorful. It's kind of bland, like your personality. I have a fun personality. This is not bad. I get what you're saying is bland though. I would give this a six out of 10 because I can't really taste it. All right, last drink on this menu. The apple oat frappe. You're gonna hate this. Suck it deep. <laughs> oh, I like that. That tastes like apple pie. I'm out of breath, I just, I just ran up the stairs. That tastes like apple pie and ice cream put together. It's delicious. Apple pie and oat ice cream put together. I love that. See, she hates it. I think. It's just the oat milk. 10 out of 10. We are on to food, which we're not doing this food yet, but we are doing the Starbucks goodies. We have, first off, ooh, ooh, I've never tried this one. I don't think I've tried any of these, actually. This is the pumpkin spice, I was gonna say cone. Scone! Ooh, it smells good, smell. Oh, thank you for that. <laughs> okay, um, I'm just gonna rip a piece off. You rip a piece off and go from there. Oh, well, I ripped a large piece off. You can have the piece with your face on it. All right, I'm excited to try this. Bite. It looks dry. It looks like um, a crusty toenail. Starbucks, if you wanna hire me for advertising, I'm just saying. Anything with icing on it though, no, it needs butter. This needs to be cut in half, put in the microwave for 15 seconds and melted butter on it. Yeah, that would be. Fun. The icing's good. I think it's just too thick because the icing's not thick enough. Mm -hmm. I mean, I still eat it. I'm a big dessert person. Wouldn't be my first choice. It's not bad be, though. Wouldn't be my last choice. I have a six out of 10. I agree. And don't worry, I'm going to be eating all of this throughout the day. It's not going to go to waste. This is just going to be my breakfast, lunch, and dinner for the day. Next, we have, oh, you like this, don't Pumpkin you? Pumpkin loaf, probably. Pumpkin loaf. This is dense. You gotta get a crusty part. Alright, you got some nuts. Mmm, it's good bread. Pumpkin. Not too much pumpkin. It's good. But like Not said, too much spice. Microwave butter. It would be a 10 out of 10 with it just a shit It was supposed butter. to be warmed. If it this was warmed, honestly, I don't even think it would need butter. You did order it warmed, but we just took a while. I'm gonna give it an eight out of 10. Same. That was quite enjoyable. Oh, this is a pumpkin muffin. It's kind of sad. It's like somebody stepped on it. Looks like somebody put something in it. Yeah. Muffin tops only. We're a muffin top family here. You ain't got a muffin top, you gotta get the f out, <laughs> all right? So you can come with a muffin top or a muffin top. You gotta contribute to the muffin top. All right, I'm excited. You're a cream cheese bitch. Mm -hmm. Cream cheese, that's what the CC's for. Yeah. I don't like cheesecake. I don't think cheese and sweets should mix. I think it's a crime, to be honest. Jay, how do you feel on this subject? Philadelphia cream cheese, that's the jersey in me. Slap that shit up on a bagel. Marvelous. Cheesecake? The fat in me now is talking. Yeah, give me some of that shit. Thank you for your opinion. Not my shit, but it's like still that. pretty good. I, I give it like a six and a half out of 10. Mm -mm. This is a nine. Uh -huh. Yeah, if you like cheesecake, if you like cream cheese icing, I feel like this will be really good for you. Okay, last but not least on the Starbucks, we have a Fox cookie, which I don't think is actually a, is fall. I just really wanted a sugar cookie. What does the Fox say? Ding, 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 ding. How cute that is though. Oh, look, it looks like it's as big as my head. I'm a child. I'm not usually a huge sugar cookie. Hmm. Well, it's a sugar cookie. It just tastes disappointing. It tastes like how my mom feels about me, you know? <laughs> you know, this isn't that great. I get that it's in a package. It's been in there it's for good. a while. It's all right. If I was under the influence, 10 out of 10. Right now, six and a half out of 10. <clears throat> Fox says no. All right, so that is it for, uh, that is, okay, so that is it from Jessica for now. Thank you, Jessica, for your assistance on that. I'm sure we have swayed many people in the Starbucks lineup. And next up, we have the Spice King himself, the ginger, the pumpkin. Jacob Collins, my younger brother, come on in. What's Hello. up? Hey, Hello. how's it going? Welcome to the show. Glad to be here, yeah. Yeah, yeah, my hands a little sticky right now. I don't know if he's been on, have you been on the channel? No, but Very briefly, like so this second. is Jacob. He is, uh, how old are you? I'm 19. He's 19, he can drink here in Canada. Have you used and abused that yet? Not yet. Oh, he's Not a yet. liar. Yeah, and he's also been working out. Look, he's jacked. Ladies, he's also single. So I'll put his number down at the bottom here. Toll free, he needs somebody, okay? Give me arms of the angel. Looks up. 
That's 1-800-LOVE-JAKE. That is 1-800-L-U-V-J-A-K-E. Call now. Interrupting the video to thank today's awesome sponsor, which is Raycon. Raycon's everyday earbuds are my everyday earbuds. They look, feel, and sound amazing. With optimized gel tips for perfect in-ear fit, they are super comfortable and they will not fall out. Trust me, they will not. I will test them for you right now. And I love that they're not crazy expensive. You get quality audio at a reasonable price, unlike the premium audio brands that charge you a lot. So it's no wonder that Raycon's everyday earbuds have over 50,000 five-star reviews. Since I am always traveling, I wear my earbuds while I'm in the car, while I'm going to the airport, while I'm in the airplane. But I spend a lot of time at home too, so I'll be wearing them always when I'm doing housework, which seems to be endless, or when I'm doing at-home exercises with my doggo, or walking the dog. And I love the noise isolation and and awareness mode. Noise isolation is when you want to be totally immersed and only hear your music. And awareness mode is really good if you're running errands or at the store or wanting to watch your kids at the same time as listening to music or your favorite podcast. It's great to be able to hear what's going on around you while still listening to your favorite stuff. And while I'm running or working out in the rain, it's great that they're sweat and water resistant. And one of the things I love most about the Everyday Earbuds is that they have eight hours of playtime and 32 hours of battery lifetime in the case. So click the link down in the description box below or go to buyraycon.com dot com forward slash KMK to get 15% off your Raycon purchase. Thank you again to Raycon for sponsoring this video and let's get back to it. Okay, and just like that, we have the stuff in front of us. To be honest, McDonald's really didn't have a lot of fall stuff. So I tried, I don't know, I got a couple muffins, a donut, a pumpkin spice thing, an apple pie. That's about it. And then we're gonna move on to Tim Hortons. So first off we got, you had a pumpkin spice latte? Never had it. No. Yeah, I had my first one today. Uh, I'm not, okay. so now I'm Post. so well versed. So this is the thing, I'm gonna put a straw in it and then you can just drink okay. from it, okay? okay. God, I just don't like pumpkin spice. Okay, okay. I don't like it. Ooh, smells, okay. Yeah. How do you feel about it? Give it a six, maybe a oh, five. I it. give it a four. Yeah. It's, it's just not my thing. It's not a thing. And you know what? The Starbucks one was better and that's saying a lot because I hated that. This no, is nothing. not good. I don't know what muffins want. This is an apple cinnamon oh. muffin, which I don't know if they always have this, but that was like a six out of 10. That was impressive. That was like a seven. You can, you can burp on command. <laughs> Ladies, hit me up. <laughs> you suck. Jay, can you burp on command? I don't have the pole with me today, but I could probably do the hand snap thing on command before I can burp on command. No burping on command for me. Oh, anyway, apple cinnamon muffin. All right. Nope. That's how I feel about that muffin. <laughs> it's kind of stale. <laughs> that muffin. <laughs> that muffin tastes like ass. So and I know what ass tastes. <laughs> It tastes like shit. I give it a literally a zero out of 10. I would give it like a That one. muffin made me more depressed. It was stale. It was bad. <laughs> All right, next muffin. We got no. the carrot muffin, which you know what? I'm gonna give it the benefit of the doubt. If it was warmed up, I feel like it'd be better. We're tasting it in its raw form. Here you go. I mean, not raw form. If raw form would just be a carrot. Shut the f <laughs> bit more moist. Flavor's good. If it was warmed up with butter, it would be actually probably like an eight out of 10. Well, as of right now, it's like a- With maybe a coffee? It's like a six. Maybe a six out of 10. Next, it's a maple iced caramel donut. Have you had one of these? I actually have. I don't think it's actually a fall thing either. I just wanted something to zhuzh this up. You can take a bite out of it. Oh, wait, that's kind of fire. I was not it's expecting like, that. It's like the, um, oh, it's like a, what's the thing called? It's like a Boston cream, but in maple. Canadian maple, that's what it's from. Tim oh, I'll with that. Yeah. That's actually really good. That's like an eight. That's like an eight that's or like an nine. Eight. Yeah, man, if I was under the influence, 15 out of 10. Well, well yeah, without it, nine for me. Highly recommend that. Next up, this isn't fall at all. It's an apple pie, and I've never actually had one before. I don't actually like And pie. apple pie is fall. Ladies. I'll tr I, it's a red flag right there, <laughs> trust me. I I'll try it. Whoa, they burnt the shit out of it. <laughs> Just how I like it. Whoa. I do like it burnt, though. I like stuff burnt. Oh, oh it's it crusty. Um, okay, here. I'm excited to try this. Have you had an apple pie? No, no it's from Justa. No? Pretty good. Is it? Yeah, you should try it. Save her some of that one. Welcome Even back. though mine's just Yeah, Jessica's back. Honestly, I, like I like it. Mom worked at McDonald's. She used to have apple pie and, and ice, cream. ice cream. Yeah, yeah this would be really good with ice cream. Yeah. 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 By itself, I still give it like an eight out of 10. Seven. Yeah, I'll put a seven. You guys. Yeah. All right, well that's it from McDonald's. Overall, kind of sad, McDonald's. There. I wish you had step more up fall your, step stuff. Step up your fall game. What are you doing? Like, what do you got? You got that like- what the you got that, you got that you coming on my town? That's the only thing you got. And that you don't offer several different fall items? What are you doing? 
Timmy Hoes. Tim Hortons. Coffee you can count on. And we're back. Whoa. Whoa. Crazy magic. We're like witches. He is because he's a ginger. We suck souls. Yeah. Another benefit. <gasps> Another. That was weak. That was. Oh, I thought that was pretty good. Anyway, first up, we're going to do the drinky poos. Pretty sure this is the, the, the this is a pumpkin spice latte, which is oh. different. I haven't had a pumpkin spice latte. Oh, no, we had the oat milk latte at first Starbucks, but let's try this. I like that a lot better than the other stuff. Oh wait, no, we did have pumpkin spice latte. What am I saying? I like Tim Hortons actually, that's pretty good. Mm, that's like a two. Oh! <laughs> that's like a two. He thinks it's a two. I'm like, I think it's like a six. I'm I don't not think it's a, good. I wouldn't I'm drink not, it. I'm not a pumpkin guy, but it's like, a, yeah. it's like a two. You're not a pumpkin guy, but you're literally, which one's the pumpkin? I don't know. Can you guess what the pumpkin is? I can't tell either. <laughs> I was just trying to be Dora. <laughs> I, I, I know. <laughs> All right, two out of 10, I say, yeah, I'd probably give it a five out of 10. All right, next we have the, uh, oh, this is, this, I'm excited about this actually. It is the Hershey S'more Ooh. Creamy Chill. What Ooh. the bleak are you doing over there, Timmy? All right, yeah. this is for my Canadians or yeah. anybody that comes to visit Canada. This is Timmy's review is for you. Oh, that's good. That's really good. It just tastes like a Hershey's milkshake. Ooh. That's fire. Jake, give me some fire. Fine. Yes. Just put it up here. Yes. <laughs> By the way, he's not offended when I make fun of his gingerness, okay? No. Inside, he's like, mm. I'm dead. I'm dead. <laughs> I give this a 10 out of 10. That's like a nine. It's a pumpkin spiced ice cap. I feel like this will be good because it's I don't like want full, this to ruin ice caps. It's full, full of sugar. Eh, I don't think it will. Is it gonna ruin ice caps for me? Probably. Yeah, Jacob and I just are just not pumpkin pumpkiny people. It's not bad. I feel like if you like pumpkin spice, that's gonna be your thing. Cause it's sugary, it's got the pumpkin, it's got like it's got the whipped cream, it's, it's got the basic bitch sprinkles on top. I feel like you're gonna love it. It's better than the McDonald's. I'd give that a, a six and a half out of ten. I would give it a seven. Ooh, seven, yeah, seven out of ten. Seven, seven, seven out of ten. Probably like a nine out of ten for you pumpkin spice lovers. Yeah. I'm excited about these because we got donuts. Yeah. <laughs> but this one actually looks kind of sad now that I look at it. It is the pumpkin spice dream donut. Oh, I guess those are pumpkin seeds. It feels dry. It feels old. It feels. <laughs> that like does not look. She amazing. hasn't had a man in a while. That looks you know so what good. I mean? Yeah. Okay. Take it. I was so excited for this experience, and now I'm just sad uh -oh. again. I hate life. That's... I don't know why we're here. A prompt. Two out of ten for that's me. A, that's definitely a one or two. Not good. God damn it! I hope there's redemption in this next one. This Where's is uh, the creamy maple pecan dream donut. That's all. <laughs> Oh, smell good. <laughs> it's like my favorite donut, the Boston cream, but it's maple with crisp, crunchy pecans on top. This is my favorite donut. Now I gotta dance. 11 out of 10. That's like an eight. It's my favorite donut, but the pecans, they just don't do it for me. What did you just say, pecans? Actually, yeah. I say pecan, and it sounds like a sound effect, like pecan. <laughs> sound off in the comments below. What is it, pecan or pecan? I'd like the video. Ooh. I didn't order this. I think they just threw in a random bagel, which pumpkin is great. Pumpkin. It's just a cheese bagel. What the f importance? Okay, and last but not least, we got muffins. One muffin, two Dope. muffin. I think one's a pumpkin muffin and one's a carrot muffin. This is the carrot, we'll go with the pumpkin first. I just know this is gonna be disappointing by looking at it. It doesn't look appealing. Oh, I don't even like the smell of pumpkin Hang anymore. on, hang on, on three, on three. Okay. Oh, uh -huh. wait, there's filling in there. Oh, there's filling? Okay, I'll grab I some filling. Some, I got some filling. It's a little cream, right. okay. On three, one, two, three. The filling saves it a little bit. A little bit, but not much. I think I like the McDonald's one better. Wait, no. Was it McDonald's? No, it was Starbucks. I'm pumpkin drunk right now. This one's all right, though. Five out of 10. I'm pen out of four. <laughs> filling didn't really do it for me. This is the carrot muffin. So dry. It's very dry. So dry. <laughs> if you had like butter or something, <laughs> on it, not even butter to save this. Like a six. Well, thank you, Jacob, for eating McDonald's and Tim Hortons with me. I'm gonna get rid of all that pumpkin in my mouth now. Yeah, okay. Good luck with that. Thank you, Jacob. Yeah. Round of applause. Okay, next we have one thing left, which is essentially miscellaneous fall shit I bought from the supermarket. And here to help me taste test that is Jessica. Come back to the table. And Jessica's back. So what we have, I have made these cookies. These are fire, the Pillsbury cookies. I might've screwed it up though. I don't think I cooked them right, but that's fine. And then I found some carrot cake Oreos, which aren't a thing in Canada very often. I don't know if that's a fall thing, but you have them now. And then the most disgusting candy in the world, candy corn, but I haven't had it in 
years, so I'm gonna give it a second chance. Just like I gave my ex. Oh my. Just kidding. And I got some pumpkin spice Werther's because Werther's. And everybody's grandma gave them Werther's, right? Pumpkin spice though. I'll get the cookies. And I have this edible cookie dough. Pumpkin spice cookie dough with cream cheese flavored chunks. Are you pumped about it? I'm pumped about it. I don't even like pumpkin spice that much, but. I'm gonna pumpkin out already, but we gotta take a look. You didn't have to go through what I just went through. I know. I'm gonna vomit. I know. But it's limited edition, so we owe it to the world to eat this. And then also, look at these cookies I made. Is there one missing? Maybe. I'm gonna pretend I didn't already eat one. It's really stuck to the pan. <laughs> you can't go wrong with this I mean, cookie. yeah, it's just butter and sugar and sex in a cookie. This is, this is good. Delicious, 10 out of 10, can't go wrong. 15 out of 10 if you got a glass of milk. So, fun fact about me, I literally can't open anything without destroying the entire package. Okay. Like, ever since I was a child. It's a thing. It's a skill, Christina I guess. must have opened it. Everybody knows when I open something. And now I'm not excited about it. This looks what? like cat shit. <laughs> like a dog vomited and then somebody rolled it up and said, yeah, this is a cookie. Oh, it smells gross. Why was I excited about this? It mm -hmm. says bacon. Oh. It says safe to eat raw. Safe to eat raw. 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 Just like. <laughs> Hot dogs, you nasty piece of shit. All right, I'm gonna take the tiniest little bite. <laughs> Drop test. <laughs> These aren't good. Next up, I. <sighs> Let's try to carry cookies. I feel like these will be good. I'm gonna open it. You open it. Where it says lift. Oh, see, I would have gone right into this. Those look interesting. Carry cookies. Don't smell it. Oh. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> don't touch the wall. It's wet paint. Tastes like, you know what? Preservatives and sugar. Does it not taste a little bit like Dunkaroos? Yeah, that's exactly what it tastes like. Okay, surprise guest, Adam, my brother-in-law, Jessica's husband. Adam Rebel. everybody give him a round of applause. Try the, try the carrot cake cookie. Yeah, you guys are Yeah, what do you think? What do you think? Those are good. Huh? Like, I said they mm -hmm. taste like Dunkaroos. We give them like a seven, eight out of 10, to be honest. Yeah. Thank you for letting me join. You're welcome. <laughs> a little camera shy. Make him really uncomfortable in the comments. Mm -hmm. Tell him how good looking he is. He's got a nice ass too. Bubble butt. <laughs> Okay, last but not least, we have candy corn and Werther's. I don't know why I picked these up. This was a mistake. You opened it right here. Take one. I've never had candy corn. I haven't had it in years and I always shit on it, but I feel bad. Let's try it. It's not as bad as I remembered it was. No, I'm not craving them though. Mm, the aftertaste is abysmal. It is sad. I don't know if I used that right. Posturous. It's flabbergasting. You know what? No, now it's sitting in my mouth. It, it went from five to two out of 10. Last but not least, Werther's. I feel like you have to say it in the Scottish accent. But I don't even know if it's Scottish. Scottish. There was something um, else to say in Scottish. The weather is bleak. The weather is bleak. It is, <laughs> is bleak. <laughs> anyway, Werther's. I'm just so tired of pumpkin. I like Werther's though. The caramel saves it. Kind of. Not terrible. I don't like this in my teeth. I'm sorry for having my mouth open. Can I? I got the flavor and now it's in my teeth for the next three years. So that's fun. It's a thing of a flavor. It's a, we went from a Scottish to an Italian. It's a thing of a thing. My personal opinion. The flavor's pretty good. I, I'd give it like a six. Six out of 10? Yeah. All right, that's fair. Thank you, Jessica, for helping uh -huh. with the miscellaneous. Bye. Appreciate it. Bye bye, bye bye, bye bye, bye bye. Okay, everybody, I hope you enjoyed that. I really do hope you enjoyed it because my stomach hurts and I hope you gathered some intel into what flavor of food you're gonna get from whatever place you're gonna get it. What? Could you stop making noise? <laughs> anyway, please, dear God, like the video. It really helps on the channel. Also, subscribe if you haven't already, already subscribed because this is obviously the best YouTube channel. And now it's time for the subscriber shoutouts. Today we have Romo Squad, Haley M, Abigail, King Project, Cat Lad, Glebies LA, Skeptric254, Natasha S, Dream Chaser Grace, and Kitty Vit. If you want to find out how to be one of the subscriber shoutouts, just look in the description down below. Thank you guys so much. I love you. I appreciate you. And uh, I will see your beautiful face in the next video. All right? Bye.